Taylor Gold Creek, we are so close to the end of the year. Can you believe so close. we're just Christmas is like two days away from now? I hope that you are sitting around a fire. I hope that you are getting ready to spend time with your family. Uh, I know that we are. Mm-hmm. We are working to get our awesome Christmas Eve services ready and done for you all. And I hope that you'll join us for that. And then you get some time of rest to recuperate and then go into the new year ready to rock and roll. Do you have anything fun you're doing for Christmas? Just hanging out with family, with sitting, fam. with, sitting in front of the fire, watching Christmas movies. Do you have anybody coming into town? Not this year, no. Not this year, yeah. No. For me, me and my wife have a special little Christmas gift. We have our firstborn son being born supposedly Ooh. on Christmas Day. So hopefully that will be, yeah, we're kind of in a waiting moment. It could happen at any point. So if I have to get up and leave in the middle of this GC 365, <laughs> you know why, <laughs> but, but yeah, so that's fun for us. And then we have all our family coming into town. So that'll be good. All right. So let's get into today's reading. We started in Zachariah four, which is kind of crazy. I think one of the things that i put myself in this position would be like, have you ever had a crazy dream? Mm-hmm. And you're just yes, like, I have. What the heck did that mean? Well, what would happen if you had a crazy dream and then all of a sudden an angel popped up and was like, let me tell you what it means. <laughs> that would be crazy. It would be crazy. <laughs> um, and that's kind of what this is. He, he has these dreams and this angel is telling, asking him what he saw and he tells him, and then he explains exactly what that means, which is kind of cool. Um, another thing that stuck out to me was, um, in here, I didn't realize that, um, you called angels Lord, I guess. Um, one of the verses in here, verse four or five, it says, don't you know, the angel asked and, uh, he responds, no, my Lord, uh, which was interesting to me. I didn't realize you can call the angel Lord, but the distinction is when it says, no, my Lord, the L is lowercase as opposed to when, um, you're talking about God or Jesus, um, or, you know, our Lord it's capitalized. And so that's how you kind of know the difference between, between the two and what they're talking about. Yep. What stuck out to you? Um, the only thing that really stuck out to me is basically the same thing when you were, ha- he was having a dream and all of a sudden the yeah. angel was in front of him. Um, the only thing that really stood out to me is mm-hmm. in verse 10, it says, do not despite the small beginnings, the Lord rejoices to see the work begin, to mm-hmm. see the plum. How do you say that? Which one? Zer- oh, Zeru Babbles. Zeru Babbles. I think that's <laughs> Zeru Babbles hand. The seven lamps represent the eyes of the Lord to search all around the world. Yeah. That stuck out to me because how mm-hmm. he just, um, he do not despise the small beginnings for the Lord rejoices to see the work begin to see the plumb line in Zerubbabel's hand the seven lands represent the eyes of the Lord that search all around the world yeah oh, I completely forgot what I was going to say <laughs> that's okay that is a okay um, let's jump into um, the next one. Oh, I know you were talking about something that stuck out to you in yep. five so the thing that stuck out to me was the scroll that that was 30 feet and 15 feet wide and it had every mm-hmm. it had names of everybody that that did things that weren't good yep very bad mm-hmm. and swore against and we God. can read that out really quick too so it said this scroll contains the curse that is going out over the entire land one side of the scroll says that those who steal will be banished from the land the other says that those who swear falsely will be banished from the land and this is what the lord of heaven's armies notice it's capitalized mm-hmm. thank you uh, says, I am sending this curse into the house of every thief and into the house of everyone who swears falsely using my name and my curse will remain in that house and completely destroy it, even its timbers and stones. Now, one thing that stuck out to me is I'm curious if um, this wording is, you know, we, we live in a home, right? Um, does that mean that that home, uh, that physical spot is going to be um, torn down? Uh, or if it's going to be the family. Yeah, because be I know that apart. houses used to be like... My last name's Funston, House Funston. Like, I'm curious if that, what they're talking about here is your lineage, your family. Will that curse remain on your family? Uh, or would it be the actual building that you live yeah, in? Yeah, or it's an actual place. It's it's interesting. Um, was there anything else that stuck out to you in Zechariah? Nope. Cool. Let's jump into Revelation. So we all know Revelations is crazy. Uh, we just got out of our series, Revelations with Dummies, and going over some of this craziness. 
Um, one of the things, this was actually one of the questions Dan had up as one of the polls, and uh, I don't believe we ever talked about it, but I was curious. Um, this one settled the lamb and the 144,000. Uh, and it says, then I saw the lamb standing on Mount Zion, and with him were 144,000 who had his name and his father's name written on their foreheads. Now, this is one of those things where you get um, separating religions and they go their different paths. This one, I was curious, um, is actually uh, the Jehovah Witnesses who believe that only 144,000 will end up going up to heaven and being immortal afterlife with yeah. Jesus, which is um, interesting. And uh, that's kind of where that split takes place. And so I now what this means, Revelations is crazy and everyone has their own opinion on it. And yeah, I, I'm not going to make my claim on what it's supposed <laughs> yeah. to be. But. And then the thing that stood out for me was mm -hmm. the three angels mm -hmm. that came down and said, one of them said, Fear God, he shouted, give glory to him. Mm -hmm. And then the other one said, um, Babylon has fallen, the great mm -hmm. city has fallen. And then the third angel said, shouting, anyone who worships the beast in this statue or who accepts his mark on mm -hmm. the forehead or in the hand must drink from the wine of God's anger, which basically means you're going to face the wrath of God. Yeah, yeah, how crazy would that be? Just like nonstop, <laughs> these angels flying in the sky, shouting these three things. I, I whether you're a, um, I mean, I like to think that in that moment, because I'm a follower, I, I would know, I would recognize if this were to happen at any point that I wouldn't be scared, but I think that'd be terrifying. Yeah, I would be, <laughs> I would be terrified as well. Yeah, that would be absolutely terrifying. Um, uh, was there anything else that stuck out in here for you? Um, not in the, no. Cool. All right. Um, nothing really stuck out to me in Psalms. Um, it's funny. Psalms is, is quite the um, roller coaster of emotions following um, David and his experiences. Um, but what really stuck out to me was in Proverbs 30. Um, it says there are three things that make the earth tremble. Um, no four, it cannot endure. And the one that really stuck out to me was a slave who becomes a king. And I think that's um, something that has persisted through time, not just um, when this was written, but I think that um, something that drives people crazy is when someone who has nothing grows to be every to be everything and i think that um that's a testament to jesus who was born they weren't rich they weren't anything crazy and he grew to become everything and yeah so, yeah was there anything that stuck out in there for you or um no you basically got all of it nice nice all right that was today's reading folks thank you so much for being with us today i hope you have a happy holidays with your family enjoy if you get a little break enjoy that and we'll see you next time Bye.